think he got, uh, I think he's gonna cut, cut us some pieces, right? La casa, nah, ma, la casa. What's that? Ah, this is for the for the killer. Pick it up for the killer. The uh, the rabbit killer, uh, the woman with the, that wears the mask. You remember? The lullaby. You hear the lullaby? Yep. Dead by daylight. Hundreds. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Much. That's supposed to be the movie. Oh. Do you, you think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. Well, Yota, don't think uh, that finding a man is uh, her you problem. He can buy her whatever man she likes. It's rich. I think she's past uh, this point. Finding a man. <laughs> if she likes men. What? Oh. Oh. No, no, no. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Uh, what are, what are we supposed to do, guys? What should we choose? Betray our sister or die? Because if I choose, I'd rather die, probably she's gonna kill me. If I choose to take her, I'm probably, maybe I'm gonna survive. So not betray our sister. Guys, what do you think? What are we supposed to do? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Take her. One, one. Define. Two, define, one, take her. We have 24 people here. Anyone else? No, defined. I'd rather die. Anyone else? Defined. Okay. You nice meeting you. Us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. Nope. Gonna cut out my head. You alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Is the chainsaw? <laughs> the chainsaw massacre? I think, he, uh, he, I think he's gonna cut, cut us on pieces, right? And cut. How's that? Uh, you're not a very good actor. <laughs> really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Like Is that the old lady, the director? This is happy with your acting. Okay, I was not. <laughs> uh, she's the one. Let me check the gate. Mm -hmm. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez, Louise. <laughs> so are are we good or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. 
I did really sell it. Yeah, yeah of course, man. <laughs> you kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh, Linda! I told you I wanted a wide close up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Mm, apparently, no. Huh? Mm. Well, the director. You're supposed to, Linda, to respect the director, right? When you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again. Oh, okay? she's upset with me. You did it your way. Now we do it my way. <laughs> Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't. You can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh, uh, I felt something, something there. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. Uh, We're going again. There are not a lot of people. Okay. They're just you. Speed. <laughs> Small battle, um, right? Uh, camera speed. Yeah. Right. Everybody settle. Uh, we're supposed and to watch that again? Fold. Huh? And fold. Action. Fuck! No! Oh, oh there goes the camera. What? What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a Is that the the officer that, that was yeah, in the intro? Yeah. He became a sheriff. Hmm. This is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle. And Miss Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie, Miss mm. Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh man. Sir, we're really sorry. We we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime! We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very <laughs> happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. Hey. Okay. What the hell crawled up his ass? No, uh, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Jaime. 
Now remember what I said. Because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. Hi. Okay. <laughs> hmm? What are you going? What did I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the same place back there from 1963, from the end of the game. He, we were playing with the sheriff that killed uh, Frank Stone and saved the baby. Hello, people. Stam. A curiosity of Main Street. Of Main Street. Cedar, Cedar Hills, 1980. There are written below the, the below the about area of Twitch, uh, Mr. Moderator Max. Oh, Please. What a complete and utter disaster! Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer? Commands in personal message. What message, man? What are you talking about, Max? Goth. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I like it. What did you do there with, with Yota? <laughs> I hey, cannot understand you today. Oh, well, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise! Wait. You, you want commands in personal that? message? No, you should go. So you are moderators. Check. So check the, like the 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 Twitch action. channel. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless. Ah, okay. We'll continue with the camera. The 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 officer yeah. broke our camera, right? We got some good stuff today. Also, it's raining cool. outside, but Dude, uh, it's not, not actually raining. Upset. <sighs> I'm like go after actual criminals and shit. Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hot place. That's not entirely true. No. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. I you am. Still don't know anything. I am now, a baby. Be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. Oh, Max, they didn't. You don't have to say sorry. I know. But you didn't that. check. <laughs> That's why I saw you. I saw it for everyone in the chat watching. Doesn't want us to go. Know how he can, you know, put the commands. That's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. And you held back, you traitor. Yeah, cause I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances, kidnappings, really, murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we. Frank Stone. Stone. So. Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill. Correct. Like our steel mill, where we were just shooting like an hour ago. Correct. Theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Nice. Who were the victims? What do you think he goes up to? Who were the victims? Hmm? Let's find out the victims. the victims. Just people. So this is coming. This is taking place in '98. So we were in 1960. Then we went. We came to our age, our time, and now we're back in '98. Okay. They found parts. What? Hello, Helen Alexandra. How are you? Hi, Elena. Frustrated. Frustrated. Why? Why withhold all this until now? Excited. Do you want this? Do you know what this means? Yes, it's gonna be excited about her movie. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best. You're doing well location. today. Nice. How do you think about it? Our movie shot in a real life murder mill. You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. No, you can't. People are actually gonna want to see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Told you she's gonna be excited sure. for your movie. We might get some butts in seats, but like. And since the old, the, the old uh, woman that uh, was hijacking, right? Hey, 
Well, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <clears throat> A la casa, nah, ma, a casa. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? No, 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 no. You look rough. I don't think I can handle you. Ah, uh, hey, you okay? Empathetic. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Hmm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry. Who the fuck is he? just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming. They're brothers? Were a brother and a sister? Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What do you want? <laughs> he wants something. Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you need from me? Money. Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Um, I don't know. Twenty bucks, that should be sure. Like twenty bucks would probably cover it. Twenty bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Uh, you should see how much they cost these days. Think good and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Uh, <sighs> all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Okay, 20 bucks it is. You all right there? It, it does some spikes. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged mm -hmm. skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, <laughs> do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. At any time. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. <clears throat> Your call, Chris. Where, where, where should we go, guys? You can pick it up. You can pick uh, this decision. Drugstore or Curiosity Shop? What? It's probably, if we choose Curiosity Shop, it's gonna have another path. If we choose drugstore, it's gonna have another path. What do you want us to choose? Curiosity. I think I, I will. I will choose. If I was playing by myself, I was. I will uh, have chosen chosen a curiosity shop. So it's one one. You max bots. 
for drugstore. Stitches boss votes for curiosity. How about the other guys? Is anyone else watching or they are all, all lurking? Okay, I want to curiosity, so curiosity, so we are too. I mean, this is boss wants curiosity, since no one has uh, replied. Curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, we're I probably gonna it. die. <laughs> way. Maybe. Fate changed. Okay. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? You know antiques? what this reminds me of? Then we hit Another movie. Check Check King, yeah. Oh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Now nah, here's a camera, an old one. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. They gotta look inside. Hmm. No, I think it's the other way around. They're, uh, they're gonna place the bad. best one in the, in the front. So much for that. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? E Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Yeah, me too, Stitches Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. An antique shop, right? Oh, okay. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Needful things. Needful things. Yeah. I read this book when I was uh, ser when I served the army. Here? I don't know. I read a lot of books when I was serving the army, you know. Kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> What's that? Ah, this is for the for the killer. Pick it up for the killer. The uh, the rabbi killer, the woman with uh, that wears the mask. You remember? Mm -hmm. The lullaby. You hear the lullaby? Yep. That by daylight. Huntress. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Max. That sings the lullaby while it's hunting. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dear Mr. Olson, this, place before had some lousy luck. this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Nets Nuti Net Nux. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that are only happen to other people. Hopefully, moving on. Moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bere bereavement. After all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, respectfully, R. Stack Striker. Who the fuck is R. Striker? We don't know. We shall find out. Or not. Lawyer. Okay. Because our lawyer. Ah. Uh. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? Bite. We've got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. You're gonna die. Curiosity killed the cat, right? What? Ah, okay. <laughs> this is the, you know, the birds from uh, Dead by Daylight as well. But don't, uh, I don't want to stare at the bird too much because he, Yota is watching. I think so. So, open the door. he's afraid of the door. Yeah, but let's... Really, there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. Let's say, uh, you know, investigate. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. It does. 
It's probably a reference to Dead by Daylight I don't know, I don't know about it, right? Because we haven't played Dead by Daylight for a long, long time. We used to. Yeah, 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 the collection. We were supposed to find all the other pieces. We found two of them. Two! There are 16 pieces. That. Give a hint reference. Hmm? The killer that uh, was killing with a uh, with a car and was killing in, in general, and he he was leaving uh, the smile yeah. the smiley face. Uh, turn on. I don't remember the name uh, the name of the book. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Creepypasta. <laughs> hmm? I want to move, man. I want to move! Am I supposed to go here? I don't think so. Right? Anything else to check here? What's that? I'm gonna take it. I've been used to. Ah, another killer! <laughs> the Trapper! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Hmm! <laughs> One killer from the Dead by Daylight uh, universe as well, right? That? We saw that. Uh, there's a door to open, right? Two doors. Two doors, one actually. One here and one there. Okay, let's go to the other one first, because I don't think we're supposed to go there. Or here. Can I open this one? Locked. You want buds? No. Okay, so the other door it is. Can I... Am I supposed... Movement? Woman. <laughs> Woman! Can I go? Open. It's locked. Where is the lady? <laughs> hmm? Tink, tink, talk. If she comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw, I'm gonna be like so bummed out. Junkie Studio, hello man, how are you? Junkie Studio. A very fine item indeed. Oh, she found one. Twenty dollars. Oh. Hmm? It's like she knew. Hmm? But we have to, uh, twenty bucks. Get ready for work. Enjoy your uh, your time in your, your work, man. Pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? So now she's gonna, it's gonna make us choose if we're gonna lie about the price or not, right? Yes. 20 bucks. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, man, it's 30 bucks. Let's go. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for... Something like this. Ar. What the hell's wrong with you? Thank huh? you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Ar. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Yeah. It truly uh -huh. is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep. That's us. You should right. Oh. Dude. I don't like it. Something's wrong about her. <laughs> Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? I could so find a place for these inert milk. If we had any cash to spare. 
We don't. Absolutely do not. Milk, right? Kid. Yeah, that's what they, they used to do, right? Okay. Remember? Well, I, I I remember seeing something like this in the behind of a box of cornflakes mm -hmm. when I was a child. You know, back in the the dinosaur days. Another piece. Um, is there anything else to take? I don't think so. There's something here. Newspaper? Cursed Dean. Movies? Not James really? Dean. Andy Dean. Must be a slow news day. There are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel all the performances of the actors or craft or the director, but because they believe through they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Okay. Most associates are going to read the whole article, man. And, and beneath it, say, uh, you know, Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee. Most associated with the production have distanced, have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance. The most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the dist in the desert background. Perhaps there are really there are really was, was something lurking in the, des in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film star for its own twisted ma machinations. Okay. Hmm. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. Light Breaker Estates. So that here's a new render, a new face. Move fast to secure your place today. Light Breaker Estates has announced the next stage in the transformation of Cedar Hills with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Stair Mill. Okay, steel mill. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna have a buffet from Frankston when he's gonna rise, rise as a master, right? Exploratory visits to the old Cedar Steel by Light Breaker's expert, expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced ahead of demolition schedule for later this year and construction beginning in early 81. Okay. Tape! Do you remember this kind of tapes? You cannot see it though. You know, cassette tape. Yeah, that's how we used to hear music back in the days. Hello. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be, that would be, that would be awesome, Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. <sighs> Super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill 
Mm. He watches that place like a hawk. He's the, he's the officer's uh, son from the oh, intro oh, that we're playing. Oh, oh. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Mm. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. And you believe you know. Yeah, of course. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Hmm. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Hmm. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> okay, they are gonna die. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are gonna die. Confirmed. Now we are going to a new chapter. Everybody like music. I like it. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Doctor Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential <clears throat> during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair oh, even for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Augustine. Augustine. What the fuck does it make a ritual or something to become young? You see some kind of supernatural creature or something? Is she's a witch? 